Hi guys, it's Holly, and today's video is going to be on what's in my Ravitry binder. I've gotten a couple requests to do this video, and I always love seeing videos like this, and I love seeing what's in other people's Ravitry binders, so I'm pretty excited to do this one. And so, um, this picture right here is, I've had it for like four or five years, and it's all like ruined and messed up, um, but my sister drew it, and it's like my first rabbit. Gracie and then her the buck I'd press her to um, and their little romance so I think it's cute and it's funny but so when I first open it up I have my notification list which I'm actually gonna skip over because it has emails um, from people who are interested in buying a rabbit from me so yeah you can see there's my notification list it's quite a few pages but I'm not gonna show that to you guys because of just confidentiality purposes. And then this one is um, all the things I've purchased um, because I always like to keep track of my spending so that at the end of the year I can total it up and see how much I spent, how much I earned. I hardly ever earn as much as I spent on the rabbits, but I still like knowing um, what, what the balance is between the two. Um, so this is stuff for last year, and then this is January of this year, and it kind of got disorganized because I wasn't, um, as like I was busy with school and everything, I wasn't updating it every single month, um, so I just randomly wrote in stuff that I knew I had purchased that month, and then August, um, this past month, and then September I haven't bought anything for the rabbits yet this month, um. But you can see I buy Purina Feed. Usually it costs about $43 for two bags um, and the date that I bought them and everything and then my hay, um, $17 and all that kind of stuff. So you can see like, I like just keeping track of how much I spend. And then I also um, put on here rabbits that I've purchased or cages I purchased, my shed will go on here and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll skip back. Um, and this page is about rabbits sold and um, this one also has emails in it, so I'm also going to skip over it, but it's all the bunnies that I've sold and who I've sold them to, so I keep their emails in there so I can contact them um, if I want to get updates on the babies or whatever. And this next one, show records, um, or, yeah, I think show records is first. Oh, Dobuck Production. Um, and this one, I used to use all the time, but I actually switched most of my, um, records to the computer so I don't really use this anymore um as you can see like all these all these are empty um and then this one's not accurate at all because he's had way more letters than this um but yeah I don't really use that anymore because it's all online and then the show records one is also all online so I haven't updated this this is just like for my very first show or something um, so I don't update that anymore because I just write it all online on my website. And then, um, this tab is all about, um, different things about the haul and off, like the broken pattern, what they need to have for showing. And all this stuff I found online too, so I don't really use this very much, but if I just want, like, a quick refresher, um, then I'll use that. And then... This one is from a website that had um, the standard on it, but I own the standard of perfection now, so I don't need this, um, so I don't use it. And then disqualifications for showing, that's all in the standard disqualifications, which I also don't use anymore because it's all in the standard. And then over here I have my pedigrees, and I am going to be making a video very soon about how I make a pedigree because I'm going to have to make pedigrees from Adeline and Percy, who I'm keeping. So I'll do a video on how I make their pedigrees. And this template I actually got from my friend and she makes pedigree templates and she does a fantastic job. This one is so cool. I absolutely love it. You do have to handwrite everything, which takes a little bit more work than um, just putting the, putting the words in in a computer. But I actually really, really love it. It's so cute. I'll put her information in the description box below if you guys want to check her out and get some pedigree templates of your own. And then the final thing I have is um, this folder which just contains some pedigrees of rabbits I've sold as pets. The date of birth of my very first rabbit. Um, 
some goals. I have notes and things over here. And then some um, judges comments and stuff on some of the rabbits that I've sold. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed and um, just had fun learning a little bit something about how I keep my records and um, my binder and everything like that. So I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!